So welcome to Ace Kingdom 5. Um, I think we're just going to run through this one and see if we can find a health pickup. No way! Now the pages are all scrambled! Uh oh, that's not a good thing. Okay, this, this is what we wanted. We wanted something like this. Something to help us get through the level quickly. Oh, come on, please, no. These stupid elves. Teleport to the start because we have no way of actually getting off the the platform. Oh, stretchy Jake. Maybe we do have a way. Okay, so we got another golden wing wings, so that's pretty good. Oh yeah. Again, you can see I'm just kind of running around trying to pick up as many pages as possible. I'm not actually bothering too much about combat. Right, this one. Because of the randomizer page, we now don't know what like the other pages do, which kind of sucks. That's not too much of a big deal. Watch out! Knife storm. I wasn't expecting a knife storm. Like a lot of the things in Adventure Time, I wonder if the knife storm was actually like something from Pendleton Ward, the guy who made the who made Adventure Time. I wonder if it was something from Pendleton Ward's childhood, like if him and his brother, or just like him on his own, if he was like told that it was a knife storm outside and he couldn't go out. It's just a kind of way of keeping uh, him inside. So when you're that young you probably believe anything. So, like you probably would believe that there was a knife storm. Okay, Fiona and Cake, that's cool. It doesn't seem to do a whole bunch more damage, but it's a kind of big sweeping attack. I think we're gonna need to run though, because we're low in health. There's a pie over here though. Princess Bibbly Goo. run a lot faster when we're playing as a uh, Fiona and Cake though. So now we're on to level 6 of uh, Ice Kingdom. So we're on to level 6 of the Ice Kingdom. We have to find 12 pages of the Enchiridion for the Keeper. If you find those pages, you'll probably your reward is going to be more pages of the Enchiridion anyway. So here's one page. Uh, I think we're going to jump across this bit. Yep. And we're going to change to Fiona and Cake because they run faster. Let's go back. Oh, we can't teleport to start when we're Fiona and Kate for some reason. But that's okay. Uh, we need to find a way back across the map though. I think we're gonna have to wait until Fiona and Kate runs out and then go across. We might as well kill some enemies while we're over here then. Teleport to start, so we can get back across here. Change to Fiona and Cake, because we run faster. I didn't know that Fiona was supposed to run faster though. Oh, and here's Magic Man. 
Okay, we're gonna wreck because Magic Man sucks. We wrecked him like so easily because of the, the party god bonus. Wreck this thing too. Let's open this chest. If you've seen the episode with Party God, well, there's a few episodes with Party God, but Party God is just a giant floating wolf's head with like an 80s pair of sunglasses and an oh, yeah. 80s hat. And he, he goes out with a woman who's like a, a giant island. Okay, Rainicorn's gonna help too. Oh, yeah. EJ. And here's our artifact. We got a level up as well, which is cool. Let's use this. Lady Rainicorn. And little Lady Rainicorn. Essentially, just using Lady Rainicorn to like skip large sections of the map. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going though, so it's like it doesn't help too much in terms of like uh, finding the exit. Oh yeah! But it's definitely a lot quicker than running. We did it. Quest complete. We got some gold. And here's another little Jake. Oh, yeah. We got Charlie. Charlie's the one with the blonde hair. Okay, so on to the last level of uh, Dice Kingdom. So, we're on to level 7 of the Ice Kingdom now. Uh, it's the Ice King's house because here's his toilet. And here's the Choose Goose. He doesn't have. He has one thing we can afford, we'll buy that. And we'll prepare ourselves before we go in. What do we need? We need Knife Storm, it's always a good idea. We'll take some random stuff, just because. I think we have to kill the Ice King. Yes, yeah, the Ace King. He doesn't talk though? Why isn't he talking? Has he been possessed? Let's have a look around his room. He has some pizza, some clothes. Um is his drum kit. He has a TV. And that's about it. His room's pretty Oh god, he's dropping giant ice things on us. He isn't taking a lot of damage either. We're just gonna spam uh, knife storms on him and hope that three knife storms is gonna be enough to kill him. Why are we doing combos? Wow, that hurt a lot. That hurts so much. Okay, let's use the J armor and pummel his face. Bosses in this game are like incredibly difficult. Are we dead? We're dead? He was on like one HP. One look, one attack from dying. Okay, whatever. Let's use purple page and yellow page, and we'll just use both. Man, if we'd got the food last time, it would have been so easy. Jake blocks the big ice bolt with his shield and turns the ice king into a big Wait, snowman. There's a note. You're getting warmer. If you want Bimo back, you'll find him in the Fire Kingdom. Sign? Question mark. P.S. Bring those artifacts. So we have four artifacts now. So let's go to the Fire Kingdom. And then it's the Land of the Dead or Land of Death or something. So the next episode. To survive the Fire Kingdom without some kind of magic enchantment or something. It probably has something to do with the whole video game thing. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> that was pretty meta. 
Um, yeah, the next episode is going to be Fire Kingdom. So tune in then. <laughs>